Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I'm going to show you how to test your coolant for uh, potential electrolysis damage. And uh, we're going to test three cars today. This Corvette and two SUVs. Such a meter to uh, a low range. I've got this one set to 20, 20 volts DC. Turn it on. You can put. You can use either lead. I'm going to put a positive lead. On. Uh, need to go to ground. Actually, don't go anywhere near the positive lead. Uh, so I'm going to. I'm going to go right to the battery ground. And I'm going to put the other end in, and we'll see if we've got any leakage of voltage. Volts, DC, oops, sorry. I didn't have it on the right scale. Okay, so we've got 18. That's under 0.3. So we're good there. 18, 19. Let's try it with the engine running. Uh, uh, pretty much the same with the engine running. Uh, this is maybe <clears throat> a little bit on the high side, but I only run 25% coolant and 75% distilled water because this is a race car so I'm aware of that. Let's check another one. This is my Suburban and I've got it to the battery again and in the coolant and I've got 0.28 so that's getting close to my cutoff there. Uh, let's try it with the ignition uh, with the motor running. Okay, we're at right at point three. Uh, so according to my own uh, uh, point two nine, uh, this one is uh, needs to be changed. Okay, uh, let's check the other SUV. All right, this is the Ford Explorer. I've got uh, a really low reading, point zero five or four, which I expected because I just changed the radiator fluid on this one. It's got brand new. Fresh 50-50, so this is the best of the lot. Uh, it's just a touch higher with the engine running, so we're good here. Okay, so those are all my readings. Uh, the Suburban's kind of borderline, the rest are good. And uh, that's about it. Now, let me say a word about... There's a, f a few or a couple other videos on YouTube and I think they got their decimal point wrong. They give some readings of like 0 .01, 0 .03, 0 .05. So I did some research on the internet, of course, and from all the places, uh, professional type places, BMW, Porsche, um, radiator companies, people that make radiators that don't want them being destroyed by electrolysis, they all used the point, point 0.3, not point oh 0.03, point 0.3 um, as the cutoff. Now it could be a little more, a little less, depending on whether you've got an iron block or an aluminum block uh, and so on and so forth. I'll leave that up to you to investigate. Um, but this is what I'm putting out there. Uh, if somebody's got some conclusive proof that that point three is is not a good number, then please put it in the comments and and quote your source or post a link to your source because I want to check it out. I'm not not going to just take your word for it, okay? Because I did my research and I think that point three is a good number. Okay, uh, Froggy out. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, you want more? Subscribe. It's free. See you later, guys and gals. Bye-bye.